All right, fourth graders, we are in Unit 5, Week 5, and our story this week is called Moonwalk. So make sure you have your word collector out and you are ready to learn some new vocabulary words this week. Our first word is runt. A sentence using the word runt is the smallest pig is the runt of the litter. So if you take a look at this picture, we have a litter of baby piglets. And the runt of this litter would be the smallest one. So if you take a look at this picture, um, you'd probably say that this little guy right here would be the smallest of the litter and he would be considered the runt. A runt is an animal, person, or plant that is smaller than the usual size. Think about how would you expect the runt of a litter to act differently than the others. So if the runt is the smallest one, how do you think they would act differently than the other bigger ones of the litter? If we look at this picture, we probably think this little guy right here is probably our runt. So a runt um, is probably obviously going to be smaller. Um, they might be a little bit slower than the other ones. Okay, they might not be as strong as well. They would probably be weaker than the other ones. Our next, our next word is staggered. As a woman grew tired from the load she carried, she staggered. So take a look at this picture as some clues. So if she grew tired from the load she carried and she staggered, what do you think that would look like or what do you think staggered means? Go ahead and write that prediction down in your word collector. So staggered means become unsteady or wavered. Unsteady or wavered. So think about what are some reasons that you may stagger when you walk or when you run or when you move. Some reasons that I thought of are if you become dizzy. So let's say you turned in a circle many times and you were dizzy you would be very unsteady and you would start to stagger. Also, I think about after finishing a long race, okay, if someone ran a marathon, they would stagger through the finish line, okay, they would be tired and unsteady. And the last one, probably carrying something heavy. So um, you might become unsteady or you might stagger if you're carrying something that is very heavy, just like in the picture that we just looked at. Our next word is taunted. When taunted by the dog, the cat fought back. When taunted by the dog, the cat fought back. So think about what does the word taunted mean and write that prediction in your word collector. So taunted means provoked, pushed, or incited. It can also mean jeered at or mocked. So provoked, pushed, mocked, jeered at. So I've included some cartoons that show um, some animals being taunted. So if you look at the first one, there's some, there's some squirrels on a branch. And then you hear, see the word bark all around them. And it says, you know what, maybe we should stop teasing the dog for a while. He looks like he's about to have a fit. So these squirrels are taunting or teasing the dog down below um, by hanging out on a branch. So they're kind of jeering at him or mocking that dog down below. In this second cartoon, uh, we have another squirrel, and we got two dogs, and says, you realize that this is a challenge, right? And then the squirrel is sticking his tongue out, and he is taunting or teasing those dogs to come after him. It says, day after day, the same squirrel taunts Rex and Cooper. Our next word is summoning. The hand is summoning someone to come closer. Summoning. So think about what summoning means and write that down. So summoning means stirring to action or arousing. Stirring to action or arousing. So think about how would you complete these sentences. Summoning all of my courage, I face the blank. So summoning or gathering together all of my courage. I face the, I would say, the fear of heights. I have a fear of heights, so I need to summon or gather a lot of courage. 
Next sentence, summoning the class, Miss Krell announced. Okay, so if I wanted to stir you to action or gather you or get your attention, I would summon you with an announcement. Okay, maybe I would announce that we were going outside. That would definitely um, stir your attention or summon you. Our next word is rile. This large crack in the ground looks like a rile. So this large crack in the ground looks like a rile. So go ahead and make a prediction about what rile means or what a rile is. A rile is a long, narrow valley on the surface of the moon. So a long, narrow valley on the surface of the moon. So if we look at these two pictures here of the moon, okay, there's a rile on the moon that looks like that. So it's a narrow valley on the surface of the moon. As you can see right here, there's some riles. Our next word is trudged. The young man trudged through the deep snow. The young man trudged through the deep snow. So think about what would it be like or what would it mean to trudge through snow or to trudge through something. So trudge means walked wearily or with effort. So to trudge through snow would mean that it is challenging to walk through that snow. You would have to put in a lot of effort and a lot of energy to make it through and walk through that snow. So here we have a couple pictures of some people trudging through snow. Another example would be maybe trudging through sand or trudging through water would be another example. So to walk wearily or with effort. Next word is loomed. A storm loomed right off the coast. A storm loomed right off the coast. So think about what does loomed mean. Go ahead and write that down in your word collector. Loomed means to appear dimly or darkly in a large threatening shape. So to appear dimly or darkly in a large threatening shape. So if we look at this picture right here, we have another storm. These storm clouds are looming over that water. They're dark and they're large and threatening in shape. Our last word this week is trench. Pipes will be laid in this trench. So pipes will be laid in this trench. I want you to think about what that word means. Go ahead and make your prediction. A trench is any ditch or deep furrow. So any ditch or deep furrow. So if you look at these pictures, um, the one in the top left, this is um, a picture of a trench from Minecraft. So it's a ditch or a deep furrow that has been dug into the ground. And then this other picture is um, another picture of a trench that someone has dug. Um, looks like to lay some pipes down or lay some wires underground. All right, kiddos, this is our last word for this week. So remember to go ahead and rewind where you need to. Um, pause and make sure you are able to get all of the definitions um, so you can go ahead and complete your whole vocab Foursquare. Thanks for being active learners.